Um, obviously, the history of Ali is a long, crazy list of all accomplishments. Not only that, what he stood for, um, a Muslim man, you know, and, and stuck strongly behind it, you know, um, willing to throw his life away in jail to stand up for something that he believed in. Um, you know what? I can sit here and tell you what it means to me, honestly. Most of us wouldn't be where we would be. You know, a lot of the rules and boxes wouldn't be the way they are if it wasn't for Ali, Muhammad Ali, you know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, a great, when they say a GOAT, that is definitely a GOAT, you know, and at, inside and outside of the ring. You know, um, a, tra a tremendous man, um, obviously personality, uh, you know what I'm saying, one of a kind, but um, I mean, I, I would hate to see him suffer, and I'm, you know what I'm saying, but I would hate to see him go as well. But you know, he's in a higher place, and you know, hopefully, while we we really are all appreciate him while he was here. Well, I mean, I think that um, Ali meant so much to so many people, and um, I think that um, it was a lot more than just his ability to box, his being flamboyant, all those things made people just gravitate toward him after the fact of. The most important thing I think he did was when he stood up, you know, when he was against war. And um, everybody can relate to that, you know. And, um, and just like he said, he said that um, I'm not going to go kill some innocent people that, you know, that, um, that haven't done anything to me. You know, my oppressor is right here in America. And, and at that time, you know, during the civil rights, and I mean, what he was speaking about was 100% was right. He said you had said many times you're your favorite fighter. Uh, what was there some specific that you know about him that, that made you admire him so much and like him? Um, I think that I think I think everybody pretty much liked Ali for pretty much the same thing. He was very flamboyant, um, outspoken, brash, and um, most importantly, he backed up with the things that he said. And I think that you know once it's different when when a guy can say those things and actually you know, predict the rounds and things like that. I mean, it's almost like he's, ain't, he's not human. And, um, you know, and I mean, and I guess probably to, you know, to our people during that time, he's probably like, you know, like a, a black Superman. Man, uh, Ali, rest in peace. Um, I don't think words could express how much he meant to the game and uh, just how much he did for people in general, you know, outside of sport. I always respected him for someone who stuck to his guns and, and said what he meant and meant what he said, no matter who agreed with it or who didn't. Um, he was before his time and, um, you know, somebody I looked up to growing up. Rest in peace. Uh, man, that, that man was probably one of my biggest inspirations. There was, uh, I mean, in boxing and out of boxing. I mean, you know, it's just, just the thing that he did, the way he carried himself, uh, you know, uh, the way he taught me about boxing, how to shuffle and, and move around the ring, spread your legs and, and you know, dance. And, and when you, you know, when you, you dance and you faint with your feet and, you know, he showed everything, the pull back, you know, and all that stuff, the pull counter, you know, uh, every, you know, what, what I got from Ali, pretty much everybody else got too. Ali, one of the reasons I started boxing anyway. My first trainer was Matulay Ali. So I used to watch countless hours of Ali videos and try to mimic him. So, you know, this hit me really hard. You know, But at the same time, I can't be selfish to say I want him to still be alive. Because he's not suffering no more. So, you know, that's a, that's a big inspiration for even the, way I, even the way I fight, you know, with the heart I fight with. So. You know, I'm very grateful to even get those experiences with him. You said you tried to do the invitation, let me see. Uh, I can't do it no more. I'm the young man, you know, I'm a little lazy right now. But I, I used to, my first trainer, that's all we did was, was mimic Ali. Like, I even, I even posted a picture. I used to want to jab like him, you know, <laughs> everything, so. I mean, Ali was the first black man to, set, to stand up and say I'm black and I'm beautiful in a time where uh, society really had us viewed as second class people. Uh, Ali meant everything to me. Uh, growing up as a kid, uh, I was a huge Muhammad Ali fan. Uh, you know, my dad, everyone in my family loved Muhammad Ali. And, you know, today's a very sad moment. 
Ali wasn't just a boxer. He was, he was a philanthropist. He was a revolutionary. He was an ambassador to the world. You know, he went in, in, in really bad situations and talked people out of killing themselves and freeing hostages. And he was just such a worldly man. And uh, there'll never be another Muhammad Ali for sure. First and foremost, it, it, it hurts. It really hurts because here's a, a gentleman that took me by the hand and uh, showed me how to win a world championship. Coach, man, showed me how to be a world champion and how to carry myself as a world champion with grace, humility, and dignity. Um, Ali was a serious man. He was the best, the greatest, as, as everybody called him, the, the GOAT. You know, um, I like what he stood for more. I, I love his boxing skills, but he was a man who stood for something. He had a, he had a soul. You know, um, a lot of these guys are, I say they, they're not black, they're not white, they're green. Ali had a soul, you know what I mean? He was, he was for his people, and that's what I loved about him the most. Not only was he an icon, but white people loved him so much because he was for the people. He understood, he was for the people. He embraced the people. He understood that, you know, I'm no better than nobody. I just know how to fight good, but if I did it, y'all can do it. And that's why I like him. As far as in the ring, yeah, as far as in the ring, but outside the ring, you know, I like what he stood for. Like, you know, I saw one interview where he said, they said, what you wanna do when you retire? He said, I guess I gotta get ready to meet God. He said, God, he said, God don't care about me beating Joe Frazier. He don't care about how much money I had, how much car I had. It's all his. He said, all God cared up, care about is how we treat each other. And that's what made him one of the greatest. Um, he showed me like you could be more than just a boxer. Boxing was just a stepping stone for him. Like it, it opened the doors for many other things. Like he was more than just a boxer. He was a voice, like a true pioneer. So I mean, he was one of the best fighters ever, man. So well, if not the greatest. So I mean, he inspired me a lot to you know to voice my opinion and be great at what I do and tell the world about it and show me. Ali to me meant. Uh, if you knew Ali, Ali the boxer, you would think he was the greatest fighter in the world. Everything that you see, everything that you do, everything that everyone does, it, it, they, they want to be a little bit like Ali. But it, Ali outside of the ring made Ali, uh, made Ali an icon. You know, I loved uh, the, the man that he was. You know what I'm saying? It's just like he showed you there's, there's, there's more to life than boxing, but he also showed how to have a good heart how to help people, how to love people. Shit, I still have the comic book. I spent $250 on the comic book when uh, he beat, beat up Superman. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's usually me. I'm, I'm a big Ali fan. I, I, it's, you can't tell me there's another boxer that's better than Ali that's ever walked this earth. I think God made certain people for certain sports. I think he made Michael Jordan to play basketball. I think he made Ali for boxing, and I think he made Ali the greatest humanitarian that ever lived.